Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will be adding other servers in Sormenji console for remote management. By default, the local server appears in Sormenji console. You can add other servers from your organization, which enables you to manage them together. The servers you add can be a physical or a virtual. For this lab guide, we have our domain controller server 2019. Plus, we have a one member server with the host name a member server 01 dot must be noob dot lab. We want to manage this member server from some manager console of our domain controller. So let's go back to our DC. First, I'm going to click on start button and let's open some manager console. On some manager console, if you have already added other servers for remote management that you can see by clicking on our servers. But as of now, we have only one server and that is our local server, server 2019. To add other servers to the server manager console, we need to click on add other servers to manage link. If you want to get the list of all computer account from your active directory, you simply need to click on a find now. Here we have our member server. Let's select our member server 01 and click on this button to add this. Click on OK. And here you can see some process is going on that is telling us that it is adding a member server. Let's click on all servers. And here we can verify. Now we have a two servers under all servers. One is our domain controller and second one is our member server. We have successfully added our member server to the local server server manager console. But the question is how we can perform the remote management. For that, you need to select your server, right click on it and here we have a plenty of options. From this console, you can add and remove server role or features, you can restart your server, you can perform computer management related tasks, you can take a remote connection, you can access Windows PowerShell console, you can configure NISA teaming or so on. In future, if you want to remove your member server from local server server manager console, you can by clicking on a remote server. We also want to see how we can add server role from this server manager console. For that, we simply need to click on add roles and features. It will start a wizard. Under destination server, this time you can see a member server 01 is selected. Click on next, next again. Member server is already selected. Click on next and select DNS server root. But I'm not going to do that. Let me show you something else. Now click on dashboard. And generally, we use this console to add rules and features. So I want to start a wizard by clicking on add rules and features here. Now this time you can see under destination server, no servers are selected. Why? Because we have multiple servers on our server manager console. And that's why that is not selected. Click on next, next again and under select destination server, we need to select a server from our server pool. Let's select member server, click on next, select DNS server, click on add feature, click on next, next again and click on install. Okay, DNS server rule is successfully installed on our member server. Let's click on close. One thing I forgot to tell you is let me show you again that wizard. In case suppose if you are installing any server role and uh, suppose it requires a reboot after the installation, that time it is a base practice to select this checkbox. Restart the destination server automatically if required. See, we know that DNS and DSCP server role installation doesn't require restart, but it's a base practice. If you are installing any particular server role or server feature on a remote server, that time you select this checkbox. Let's cancel it. Now we have successfully installed a DNS server role on our member server. But how we can remotely manage our member server's DNS service? For that, let's click on all servers. Again, right click on our member server and this time you can see here we have our options for DNS manager. Let's click on DNS manager to open DNS management console. 
Now, actually, this is the DNS management console from our local server. And that's why server 2019 is displayed here. But under server 2019, you can verify our member server is there. Let's expand the name of our member server. And here we have options to create new DNS zone, whether it can be a forward lookup zone or it can be a reverse lookup zone. From this console, you can manage DNS service for your member server. Let's close this console. One more thing is that after you add servers to the interface, you can create groups containing collection of servers such as the servers at a particular location or those performing a particular function like DNS server. So let's see how we can create a group. Let's click on dashboard. To create a server group, we need to click on this link. And here from our server pool, we can add servers for this server group. Now select server 2019 and our member server because on both server we have a DNS service. Let's specify name. Here I'm giving name MBN DNS servers. See, you have to specify the name of your server group so you can easily identify purpose of that server group. Let's click on OK. We can click on MBN DNS servers and from this console we can easily manage our DNS server. In this guide, we have seen the steps how we can add servers in Server Manager Console for remote management and how we can actually use Server Manager Console for remote management purpose.